Ehlers Danlos syndrome is a group of related genetic conditions that are all caused by defective collagen synthesis. Normally, collagen provides strength and elasticity to our bodies, and it's found in the skin, ligaments, tendons, and bones. In Ehlers Danlos syndrome, defective collagen leads to stretchy skin, easy bruising, and joints that are super flexible. Now, the cells that produce collagen are fibroblasts, and they make five types of collagen. These five types have specific parts of the body they call home. Type 1 collagen makes its home in the skin, tendons, organs, and bones. Type 2 collagen makes its home in the cartilage. Type 3 collagen, in reticular fibers, form a supporting mesh for soft organs like the liver and blood vessels. Type 4 collagen is found in a foundation called the basal lamina, on which the epithelial cells sit. Finally, there's type 5 collagen, which is in cell surfaces, hair, and placenta, as well as in places where type 1 collagen is found. The synthesis of collagen, like any other protein, starts with the genes. The name of the genes that encode for a collagen type usually starts with the prefix COL, followed by the collagen number type, and the pro-alpha chain it encodes. There are many genes that encode for the different types of collagen, like COL1A1, call 1A2, call 3A1, call 5A1, and call 5A2. Let's take the genes call 5A1 and call 5A2 that encode for type 5 collagen as an example. In call 5A1, call stands for collagen. The 5 stands for type 5 collagen, and the A1 refers to an alpha-1 chain. So call 5A1 encodes a collagen type 5 alpha-1 chain. Now, to synthesize type 5 collagen, for example, Call 5A1 and call 5A2 get transcribed from DNA to mRNA, and then get translated from mRNA to a string of amino acids that make up a protein. This process happens many times over. Now, this string of amino acids consists mostly of glycine and two other random amino acids, usually proline and lysine, that repeat over and over as amino acid triplets. Ultimately, this peptide forms what's called pre-procollagen, which can be a collagen type 5 alpha 1 chain or a collagen type 5 alpha 2 chain, depending on the gene that encodes the protein. Next, pre-pro collagen undergoes hydroxylation, which is where two enzymes called prolyl hydroxylase and lysyl hydroxylase, with the help of many cofactors like vitamin C, add hydroxyl groups onto proline and lysine. Then there's a process called glycosylation, which is done by two enzymes, galactosyl and glucosyl transferase, which add glucose and galactose monomers onto the hydroxyl groups. After that, three of these chains twist into a triple helix, called procollagen. Now, two combinations can make up the helix, or procollagen, for type 5 collagen. Three type 5 alpha-1 chains, or two type 5 alpha-1 chains, and one type 5 alpha-2 chain. The procollagen is then put in a vesicle by the Golgi apparatus and sent into the extracellular space. In the extracellular space, procollagen undergoes proteolytic processing. And that's where a tiny band of enzymes called collagen peptidases cleave the loose strands at both ends of the procollagen protein, turning procollagen into tropocollagen. At this stage, tropocollagen is the mature type 5 collagen. Finally, there's a stage called cross-linking, which is where lots of tropocollagen molecules, in this case type 5 collagen, bind together with the help of a copper-dependent enzyme called lysyl oxidase to form a stack of collagen fibrils with type 1 collagen. Now, the cause of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is typically due to a mutation on a gene that encodes for a type of collagen protein. The name of the gene that encodes for collagen usually starts with the prefix COL. The specific gene involved determines the type of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. So for example, classical Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, or CEDS for short, is caused by mutations in the COL5A1 and COL5A2 collagen 5 genes. These genes are passed through autosomal dominant inheritance, where only one mutant allele is needed for the disease. Vascular Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, or VEDS, is caused by mutation in the COL3A1 gene which causes a decrease in type 3 collagen synthesis, which weakens blood vessels. 
There are also cases where there's a mutation in a gene called TNXB, which causes a defect in a protein called tennyson X. Tennyson X is believed to play a role in regulating the production and assembly of certain types of collagen, and providing more flexibility. A TNXB mutation is thought to be the cause of classical-like Ehlers-Danlaw, or CLEDS, in some people. Sometimes Ehlers-Danlaw syndrome is not caused by a mutation on a gene that encodes for collagen, but rather a gene that encodes for an enzyme that assists in the synthesis of collagen. An example is kyphoscoliotic Ehlers-Danlaw, or KEDS, where there's insufficient lysyl hydroxylase, which is an enzyme needed for the hydroxylation step. There's also musculocontractural Ehlers-Danlaw, or MCEDS, which is where there's a defect in the collagen peptidases that leads to a block in the proteolytic processing step. In classical-like, kyphoscoliotic and musculocontractural Ehlers-Danlaw syndrome, the mutation is passed through autosomal recessive inheritance, which is where two mutant alleles are needed for the disease. Finally, for hypermobile Ehlers-Danlaw, or HEDS, which makes up over 90% of people with EDS, no genetic mutation has been identified. The symptoms of Ehlers-Danlaw syndrome include areas that rely heavily on collagen, like the joints and skin. Specifically, it can lead to overly flexible joints, easy bruising, and fragile and elastic skin. The diagnosis is mainly based on spotting the characteristic symptoms and examining the joints in the skin. For the types associated with specific genetic mutations, diagnosis can be confirmed with DNA studies that can help identify the mutation. In terms of treatment, individuals with Ehlers-Danlaw syndrome are given supportive care, like physiotherapy to support bones and joints, as well as orthopedic instruments like bracing, a wheelchair, and casting. All right, as a quick recap. Ehlers-Danlaw syndrome is a group of similar genetic conditions caused by faulty collagen synthesis. There are various subtypes, some of which follow autosomal dominant inheritance, whereas others follow autosomal recessive inheritance. The hallmarks of symptoms are stretchy skin, easy bruising, and joints that are super flexible. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.